Okay, what we'll be showing in uh, part five of the demo uh, now is we've added four extra coils to our, uh, our, our generator. The, uh, the 18 pole rotor has been changed to a six pole rotor. What we're going to be doing in this demonstration is we're going to use the generator back enough to accelerate the induction motor. And uh, as, the, uh, as the speed of the system increases, we're going to use this uh, ceiling fan uh, speed regulator to lower the voltage to the motor. And then we're going to shut off all the coils, disconnect the load, and the system will slow down. We'll, we'll keep the, uh, the, the ceiling fan switch where it was, and we'll, we'll let the motor uh, run the system on its own, and we will, we'll, we'll be able to uh, draw a comparison between uh, employing back EMF and the, the motor driving the system completely on its own. So I will uh, start it now. So I'll start the generator now. So what we have here is, uh, again, is uh, all of our individual generator coils are listed. From one to eight. I'm using a ceiling fan switch here to uh, accelerate or decelerate the motor, set a stable speed. Now coil two is at about almost 160 volts. And I'm going to gauge all the coils now. Good. I guess you can hear the system accelerating. Lowering the input uh, to the motor here slightly. Continue to accelerate. Well, two is at 257 volts. Our input to our motor is. 80.1 volts. I have the uh, rear stat set. I'm going to disconnect all of the uh, disconnect all the coils. As you can see, the voltages, the no load voltages to our coming from our generator are dropping. The power going to the motor is increasing. And uh, system is slowing down. Right now we are uh, we're running the system on on the induction motor alone. And uh, without the back EMF, the induction motor uh, doesn't have the power to even uh, Keep the system going at all. 
255 watts going to our motor right now, and we're producing, uh, well, well, 2.8 volts. Okay, what you just saw, essentially, we were accelerating our uh, prime mover induction motor with generator back EMF and uh, um, motor power and what we're going to do now is we're going to we're, we're not going to introduce any uh, back EMF into the system we're going to accelerate the motor up to essentially the same speed that we were producing in the previous test coil 2 was producing about 257 volts the motor was required 235 watts of power and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to accelerate the motor up to uh, about 257 volts here and we're going to uh, take note of, of how much power is how much power the motor requires to produce the same no load voltage without back EMF Right now we're at uh, 250 no load volts coming from our generator, and our motor requires 280 watts. Just let it get up to uh, 257 right about now. 280 watts as opposed to uh, 235. 235 watts of power required by our prime mover when we're accelerating with back EMF and um, 280 watts when it's the motor accelerating the system on its own. That's good.